Let's react to black woman delivers powerful speech in support of Donald Trump. And blast Kim Kardashian for being fake. When it comes to President Donald Trump, I want to say this because a lot of people accuse this man of being a racist. And I just want to say that I met President Donald Trump working on criminal justice reform. I too was one of the ones that said, no, I don't want to go talk to that man. I don't know him. He, he hates black people. Well, that's what they said. And so they said, well, Angela, he's working on criminal justice reform. You have a story. Many of you may or may not know that I served time in a Georgia state prison. And while I was serving time in that prison, I was pregnant. And when it was time for me to deliver my baby, I was transported to a hospital here in Georgia by a police officer and I was chained to a bed and I was forced to give birth to my baby with a sheriff watching for a nonviolent crime. Also separated from my family for a nonviolent crime. But you know, the Democrats said we only supposed to fight for the family separation at the border. They forgot all about the family separation in the border. They want Trump to apologize for the CP5, but they demanded that Joe Biden apologize for the 94 crime bill. But that's something else. I had a story. They told me that this man was a racist, but I had a story. And I knew that if I could use my story to convince this man that there was a need to reform our criminal justice system, then I would do that. I wasn't going to be worried about emotions. I wasn't going to be worried about the media. I wasn't going to worry about the naysayers. I was going to go in with my story and see if I could make a difference. I found myself sitting in front of President Trump in the Oval Office and I shared my story. This is the man that they told me was a racist. I don't know. I'm scared to death. Is he going to hang me? I don't know. Is he going to call the KKK the way that the media has betrayed it? I'm in a danger zone. Just so happened that he heard my story. Not only did he pass the First Step Act, but he also made it illegal for them to chain women to the bed during their childbirth. This white man that they told me was a racist. They told me he hated black people. So not only did he just sign one of the most historic forms of criminal justice reform legislation to ever hit this nation, overturning the 94 crime bill that massively incarcerated black America, freeing nearly 20,000 people to this day. The First Step Act. I sat in the Oval Office with a lot of criminal justice reform advocates. I saw Kim Kardashian on the front page taking her pictures. I saw Alice Johnson, I saw Louis, uh, Louis Reed, I saw Van Jones, I saw Jessica Jackson, I saw, uh, what's her name, Vivica Fox, I saw Isaiah Washington, but I don't see any of them here today. A lot of people want to take a lot of credit for being criminal justice reform experts criminal justice reform advocates, but to tell the truth, you didn't free nobody, Trump did. Kim Kardashian had the nerve to put up a tweet to say free Gunna. Gunna is a YSL rapper tied to the Young Thug case charged with Rico, the same DA, the same charges. You put up a tweet and say free a known gangster in Atlanta, Georgia, but you won't put up a tweet and say free President Trump. And the only reason you getting any credit for freeing anybody is because President Donald J. Trump signed the papers. As a criminal justice reform advocate, somebody that's grateful to President Donald Trump for giving me a second chance, giving me an opportunity to run for Congress by clearing my record. Somebody who was completely oblivious to the corruption that happens in Atlanta, Georgia. I just wanted to do something for my community. I refuse to be silent. Not only will I stand for Atlanta, Georgia, not only will I stand for America, not only will I stand for the babies being aborted in the womb, not only will I stand for the mothers that choose life, I'm also going to stand with President Donald Trump.
How beautiful, man. God bless this lady. Her speech was a bit longer, so I made sure to put the video link in the description so you can go and watch it, listen to it. I'm gonna leave you with this picture. I choose this picture because the lady in the video, Angela, she's right here behind she's right there and in this picture you can see donald trump with uh, african-american supporters the media the fake news media msnbc cnn and whatever they want you to believe that this man right here in the middle hates black people you you cannot make this up bro you have all these black people here praying with this man praying for him but the media wants you to believe that this man is racist how crazy is that you let me know what you think about this in the comment section and um, God bless you. God bless your family. Catch you on the next one. Trump 2024, bro. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully. That would be good. Is this uh, trash Joe Biden really, uh, you know, he's destroyed. I mean, look at, look at what's happened. Don't you see like there's been an increase in this gay agenda ever since Joe Biden has become president. Haven't you noticed that? I feel like if Trump is back, I think things will improve at least a little bit. Come on, honestly. Anyways, um, let's see. Should I watch the second part? Let's see. was one of the ones that said no i don't that overturning the 94 crime bill that massively incarcerated black america this is the man that they told me was a racist i don't know i'm scared to death maybe with a sheriff watching for a non-violent crime also separated from my family for a non-violent crime but you know the democrats said we only supposed to fight for the family separation at the border they forgot but I had a story Further? and I knew, but I don't see any of them here today. Oh. I stand for Atlanta, Georgia. Not only will I stand for America, not only will I stand for Thank you. Oh, yeah. We gonna pray in just a second. Just That's so. my goddaughter, y'all. And I tell that girl to tell the truth and shame the devil. And she does that. Well, now, I said earlier. I like that. Tell the truth and shame the devil. I wanted to say that um, it's awesome to be here today with so many like-minded people. I don't know how many of I you think, remember I me, but I also ran in the 2020 election. I ran in the Fulton County 2020 election against John Lewis. John Lewis passed away. Nakima Williams was a write-in candidate for John Lewis and I don't feel that I had a fair run. I Hopefully I won't get indicted for saying that. Maybe maybe I might have a chance because I'm black. You know, if you're a black woman and say the election was stolen like Stacey Abrams, then you don't get an indictment. But if you're a black woman as a Republican and support Trump, you just might. But I'm going to tell the truth. There are several reasons why I don't believe that I had a fair shot. Now, I know Atlanta is strictly Democrat. It has been for quite some time. So I'm not saying that I won, but I don't believe that it was fair by all means. And I say that for many reasons. And while there are some senators out here listening and people in Congress, it's very important to understand, and those of us, I ran against someone who refused to debate, turned down 11 debates, as a community, how are we voting for somebody that won't even debate their opponent? <laughs> if you won't show me that you're willing to speak exactly. for me or stand up for me against the person you're running against, then how can I believe that you'll stand up for me in Congress? Right. Another thing is, on that day, you know there was a water main break in Fulton County. I don't know how it happened. And it just so happened in the only room that counted the ballots. And so I, someone who is a lifelong resident of this great city and town, grew up probably a couple of blocks over here. They call it Summerhill, People's Town, University and Pryor. We could walk there from here. I've done a lot of work in this community. I've been very active in this community for the past 20 years, 
working alongside my godmother. I've worked in the schools. I've worked in the prisons. I've worked in the detention centers. I've worked at the community centers. I've worked with the churches. I've done my part. I've held book camps at elementary schools. My name is well known. I've been in entertainment. So I couldn't understand how someone who was a writing candidate who wasn't even from Atlanta, but was from Alabama, who refused to debate, managed to get more votes than John Lewis ever got in the history of his career. Now you may have gotten more votes than me, but I seriously doubt you got more votes than John Lewis. Hopefully they won't send me to jail for making that statement. Here's another thing, right? In our community, when we talk about who are we going to elect? Who are we going to stand behind? Because right now we see so much infighting where people believe we have to choose a party or we have to choose a color. No, you have to select the person that you have seen and witnessed doing the work in the community. These people that just hop out of the clear blue sky that haven't put any work in, in the community, how can you trust them to really be a voice for you? Why are we overlooking the people in the community that are showing us that they're willing to do the work without ever receiving the dime so from Congress. Everything. Another question I would pose to the community is, a, uh, is since 2020, and let's say I lost, they say she beat the brakes. She's a very, very good, strong woman leader. Very honest, very clear, enunciation, pronunciation, everything's perfect. And uh, what was it? Oh. Yeah, absolutely. Very well spoken, very uh, outspoken, well spoken, whatever the word is. And uh, this lady has a bright future, and uh, I feel like she actually cares for improving society. And uh, inshallah, inshallah, may Allah guide her, and maybe she can take her shahada. You never know. And then she would be like triple, triple improving society with her mindset. She, she's a warrior, a female warrior. I could tell off of me i'll take that but what has she done for the community of fulton county georgia since she's been in office angela she showed up to speak for abortion when roe v wade was being overturned but i opened a pregnancy home for women right here i wonder if she's related to uh martin luther king huh she showed up to speak for abortion when roe v wade was being overturned but I opened a pregnancy home for women right here in her district and she hadn't showed up for that. <laughs> Auntie Angie's house. So they show up when it's time for us to abort our babies, but they don't show up when it's time for us to give life. Beautiful. When it comes to President beautiful. Donald Trump, I want to say this because that, beautiful. a lot of people you know? accuse this man of being a racist. Okay, and I just want to say that we I watch. met President Donald Trump working on criminal justice reform. I this um hold up hold up. This video is very messy. I started midway in the speech because I watched another person like me who was just reacting to it, their video, and then I clicked on the link going to the original video. I should have watched this video instead directly and then reacted to that but whatever it's too late and so yeah um like share subscribe comment what you want me to watch next and comment what country you're watching from and enjoy your life yalla